Fortunately, Tammy Bruce is with us this Friday morning. All right, Tammy, you better weigh in on this. The whole country is now... I have no opinion. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no, okay. I do. I have something. <laughs> Tammy Bruce? I have an opinion. State it. Well, look, uh, first of all, New York would not be having a crisis if they actually had decent policies leading up to this. Exactly. The, the reason why this is overwhelming them is because so many New Yorkers are also homeless. So many other people are in New York who ha have, after COVID and the mishandling and the absurdity of what they did with shutting down businesses, people who normally were working for a living now are, were living on the street. So you've got this piling up. It's, it's a one unforced error after another because, you know, partly what government is for is when there is an unexpected crisis. They are there to handle the surprise. Every uh, homeowner understands this. Every parent understands this. Yeah. You can't be living paycheck to paycheck. This is now what the government has forced uh, so many Americans to do because you want to be able to be surprised if uh, or prepared if there's like, uh, you know, an earthquake or if there's some kind of horrible hurricane that, that you're ready for these things. The government, though, is never ready. In fact, they're always behind the eight ball and then they use those events those tragedies to take more of your money and then they get even more behind the eight ball. Yes, it's a terrible situation. A, a, a real decline is happening here. But I want to talk to you about Republican Senator Roger Marshall. He's introduced legislation that would force a vote to end the White House's emergency declaration for COVID. Biden declared the pandemic over. So why, I mean, will this bill pass? It, I think it should pass. It, stop calling it an emergency. Stop handing out the money. Yeah. But will it pass? Well, it, after his comments in 60 Minutes, it's now a little bit more difficult for Democrats to say, oh, we've still got to be able to do this, especially as it becomes clear that November is going to be a major problem for Democrats, mostly everywhere. So if the Republicans, finally, they kind of grow a spine. Thank goodness, uh, you know, for Marshall for being able to put this through. But it should have been done before. Why it, they want it to remain emer an emergency is it gives the president special uh, emergency powers when it comes to executive orders. And that's why you see this crazy spending. That's why states like New York want to maintain the emergency, because it allows them to go beyond Congress, it allows them to go beyond the normal process of spending money and, and making decisions, and they like it, because inevitably, I don't care whether it's going to be monkeypox or some other event, there's always going to be an emergency. And if we allow this to continue, it will never end. And so this is more like a dictatorship right now. There's been no say in this. And that's why you've got the New York situation. You've got a New Yorker saying, well, wait a minute. We have not approved this. We, we, you know, we don't want this to happen. And your, open, your monologue was absolutely right, that this is a dynamic where there's been an invitation for this. And I argue because they like the emergency. They like the chaos. They want there to be some panic because then it seems like a perpetual emergency in general. For someone who has no opinion, you've got a lot of opinion. I, I do. And I, this bill should like pass. It. I hope the Republicans, it's always up to them, they can move some of these Democrat voters. And it's time that they do so. Right now, it's always been like, feels like a little hands off. It's time for them to take charge of this dynamic now, and they can do it. Tell us how you see it. Tammy Bruce, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, sir. Pleasure. Great stuff. All right.